Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft news video because there's been a lot happening in the world of Minecraft this week. There's going to be a new preview edition of the game that will replace the Minecraft betas and we also got a new beta too which added a new create world UI and also some new features revolving around the frogs too. We've also got some tweets from the devs revealing some testing with the skulk blocks and later in this week we should get a 1.18.2 snapshot here on Java Edition, so make sure you subscribe if you want to catch that on my channel. So first of all, let's check out what will be a new version of Minecraft known as Minecraft Preview. This is going to replace the Bedrock Beta program and it will do so with an entirely new app or game depending on how you look at it and that's going to be far more accessible. It's going to be available on more platforms than just the PC and Xbox. Now what platforms will it be available on? Well it says it's coming to several of the Bedrock platforms. Right now it's actually available on iOS and in the near future it's going to come out on Windows 10 and 11. And it states here that the beta is indeed still available and that there's going to be an overlap period where you can still do some of the developmental stuff through the beta program but eventually it'll end up being retired and replaced with Minecraft Preview. Now if you want to partake in the Minecraft preview, it's going to be different based on what platform you're on. If you're on iOS, you need a link which I'm going to provide in the description box and slots to participate in this will open up intermittently for the time being. If you're on Xbox or Windows, then eventually it'll turn up in the games and apps library if you own a copy of Minecraft. And there are also plans to add it to the Minecraft launcher. That's this program right here if you need your mind jogging. So this launches Java. It launches the Bedrock Edition and in the future it'll launch the preview version too. And interestingly your Minecraft worlds won't be importable into the Minecraft Preview Edition but it is something that they're looking to add in the future. And some features won't be available in Minecraft Preview like achievements, realms and featured servers or cross-platform multiplayer. And if you're wondering why Mojang have decided to do this, well it's all about accessibility. You see the beta is kind of closed off for a lot of players, so they want to replace it with something that can go across multiple platforms. Now next up we're going to talk about the latest Bedrock beta and the changes in this. So first of all there is a new Create New World screen and when we pop in here you have to switch to the new eye by going through this menu. And this is really stylish and clean and one of the things I hope they can aim for is parity with Java Edition as this is a lot more user friendly. So there are only a few options over here for some of your basic options and then down on the side things are split into different categories. So you can get to your world seed, some of the options about how the world is configured for you to play in it. There is a multiplayer screen for you to be able to set up your world to play with other players and then there is the cheat screen where you can turn these on and then access some of the other game rules. I like the way that this is all greyed out until you flick the thing at the top. It looks very clean and it's rather intuitive. Then we have resource packs and behavior packs and both of these are currently under construction but I imagine this is a place to pick and choose those and last of all at the bottom there is a beta features where you can opt in for some features like the wild update for example. It's a really nice look and my main hope is that it comes to Java Edition 2 although that is probably quite unlikely. So first of all, previously known as Frog Eggs have now been renamed to Frog Spawn, probably to avoid confusion with the spawning egg, which is actually called Spawn Frog. So now we have Spawn Frog and Frog Spawn. I'm not sure if it's more confusing now. The time it'll take for the Frog Spawn to then hatch into tadpoles has been increased. Previously it was like 30 seconds to a minute, and uh, so far we're clocking in at a couple of minutes and none of them have hatched. They of course hatch into tadpoles and the hitbox of these tadpoles has now been increased but that's not the size of the mob itself. It just means it's easier to punch one which is kind of cruel. <laughs> and I can't actually punch it? Yeah, for some reason I can't punch the tadpole. Now this frog spawn is said to have a new texture too and to my eyes it looks slightly more grey than I remember. And there's also been changes to the frogs as well. They're now going to jump more frequently. They're going to have tweaked jump and tongue animations. And the animations themselves are supposed to be a little bit smoother, uh, especially when in the water. So let's have a closer look at these right here. Yeah, look at this. They have a gorgeous swimming animation. Very nice. And the tongue animation changed as well. We need a little slime to see this. Hey, we've got another one. And now we can see plenty of that animation as we've got lots of slimes around here. It's really good. I, I like the animation. 
And look at this, our first frog spawn hatched into tadpoles, some of them made it onto land. That was at least six minutes, so it takes quite a bit of time for them to hatch now. And that's about it for the beta, so let's move on to some of the tweets about the deep dark from the developers of the game itself. So first of all we have screenshots of some testing of the Skulk Catalysts on Bedrock Edition of the game. And with this reply we can see that they were testing out a mob farm design to see what a casual player might do with these blocks. And when we have a closer look at these images, I do notice that one of the monster cages is kind of highlighted up here. You can see it even better in this angle right here, but it's probably just a testing feature. And I think what they're doing is they're using spiders, dropping them down to their death to see how much this stuff will spread. Now in this second tweet from King B Dogs, you can see more testing. This time it's on Java edition of the game, so you can see they do some parallel testing. And there is a great question down here asking if the Skulk Catalyst creates the Skulk Shriekers, and it turns out that they do. So if we enlarge this image, you can actually see that there are a lot of them spread out across the land over here. So it's a way to farm those blocks. You can create them and then harvest them later on. And just having a closer look at this area, you can see that there are some strange clusters of particle effects. Now to my eyes, it kind of looks like the Souls animation that we see off of the top of this block. It's quite quick, so I'll do it one more time. It has the same color, that's for sure. So that may or may not be what this is, but another detail I noticed is that the skulk is spreading all over the leaf blocks and making these trees look absolutely hideous. Now also doing some testing on Java Edition is Nembom, saying I think the skulk is taking over the caves and the cliffs. And with this image we can again see those particles, we can see the skulk sensors spreading out, but also this stuff is like spreading up the sides of the blocks and making its way up the side of this cliff. And in a joking reply to this enhanced screenshot, Nembom shared with us a couple more images. In this one with night vision, we can see everywhere that the skulk has managed to spread to, and it really looks like it can spread long distances from this catalyst. And in the next one here, it's even spreading into some waterlogged caverns, which just looks amazing in my opinion. And so essentially, the devs have been testing how players are going to build farms with these new blocks, and what kind of range they're going to be able to operate at. We've also got a couple of bonus tweets as well to check out. This first one here from Cory, more of a teaser for the deep dark. I don't think there's anything special in this image. Just uh, getting you ready for the update. And this other one from Auraf is the kind of stuff I love to see. They were testing and messing around with the rendering image and something went wrong. All the blocks in the world, they render as diamond swords, which looks very bizarre. And that's all I have for you this news video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like to support the channel. And YouTube reckons you might like one of these videos. So give them a click if you want to keep watching. That's it. Bye-bye.